Yo, what's going on? Answer me, what's going on? I don't want this to be a video that you just watch and then you continue watching other YouTube videos. Because if you're a person who stutters, the worst thing you could be doing right now is mindlessly scrolling. It's just derping around, having issues, having challenges you're facing with your speech, in life, with your confidence, and you're fucking scrolling. That's, <laughs> that's a recipe to fuck you up. So if you're here, if you're here with me now, and you, sincere, you sincerely want to work on your stutter, you sincerely want to gain the confidence, you sincerely want to feel a sense of belonging in group conversations at work with your friends, you want to stop living in your head and start speaking your truth effortlessly, <sighs> then be with me now. Don't skip forward. It's boring right now. It's silence. You might want to skip forward. Don't. Breathe in with me. Exhale. All right. Let's begin this video. And the video is titled, it's titled, why relapsing is good or something like that and i'm gonna tell you why and i'm gonna i want to first give you an analogy let's say you are a waiter let's say you are a waiter and you're carrying five dishes on one big dish holder thing if you want to drop these dishes Guess what you should be thinking? I hope I don't drop these dishes. You should be thinking very, me very mechanically about how you're holding this. And you should be thinking, fuck, I really hope I don't drop these dishes. You should really be in your head about the mechanics of your fingers. Oh, is this the right balance? That's gonna make you drop the dishes. And it's the same thing with your speech, okay? So the reason why I'm saying relapsing is good is because the alternative mindset to have is relapsing is bad. Relapsing means I'm failing. Relapsing means I'm losing. Relapsing means I'm, means I'm back at square one. Relapsing means I'm failing. And if that is what you want to avoid, if you want to avoid stuttering more again, guess what you're gonna be thinking about? Trying not to stutter more. You're gonna be so fucking scared of the relapse, just like you're so scared of dropping these dishes because you labeled the relapse as bad. And as long as you see stuttering more as bad, your attention and focus and energy is going to be put to trying to avoid it, which will make it inevitably happen time and time and time and time and time and time and time again. And you're caught in this stuttering cycle, painfully going through moments of fluency and then severe moments of stuttering with immense amount of pain, shame and regret. And even in the moments you're fluent, it's not like you're really enjoying it because you're still fearing some deep seated fear is still inside of you. Fuck. When is this going to leave me? <laughs> Isn't it fucking crazy? Even when, even when you have your fluent moments, you're still in your head. And the reason why I know this is because I was exactly like this and I've helped. I've worked with so, so many people who stutter and they have the same dialogue, the same dialogue. In order to get out of this stuttering cycle is to stop thinking the relapse is bad because a relapse is not, in, is not inevitable, but 
stuttering more severe from time to time is? Is not. Stuttering more from time to time is inevitable. That's what I meant to say. It's going to happen. <laughs> no matter who you are, no matter at what point in your journey you're at, there's going to be times where you stutter more. There's going to be days, maybe weeks, maybe maybe a month. You just feel like, oh, I'm in this state where I'm stuttering more. And it may make you feel heavier. You may feel more le you may feel more lethargic. You may not feel like you have that access to your personality like you usually do. You may not feel like you, you have the same amount of time while speaking. You may feel like you're constantly in a rush while you're in this month or while, while you're in this more stut while you're in this more stuttering state. It may not feel the best, all right? But it's not bad. It's not bad. One, because it's inevitable. And if something is in inevitably going to happen why would we say it's bad because when it happens it's going to fuck us up and two it's really not bad because all stuttering more is you can call it a you can call it a relapse but that's your choice all stuttering more is i feel like gary 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 vaynerchuk when i did that stuttering more all stutter all stuttering more is is a sign that something is giving you issues internally. Something is inauthentic in you. There's some stored tension in your body right now that you're not dealing with. That's causing you to please others when you're speaking. That's causing you to feel a lot more unsafe while expressing yourself. That's making you feel like when you're talking, you have less time to talk. That's making you feel more time pressure. There's something inside of you that's contracting that releases these symptoms. That's the time pressure you have. You feel more stressed. Um, you're more in your head. All because there's something inside of you that you're not dealing with. That's what Stu that's what stuttering more symbolizes. Your stutter will increase in severity and decrease in severity with the amount of tension in your body. It will never fucking lie to you. Stuttering isn't random. I, I, strongly, dis I strongly dislike when someone says stuttering is random. It's the most honest thing in the world. It's not random at all. It's... it's, it's you're not going to stutter when you're completely free and relaxed. You're just not going to. It's, it's, you're not going to. But when you're more tense, when you're more in your head, when you're more contracted, when you're more repressed, you will always stutter more. So instead of seeing stuttering as something that's bad, something that you need to avoid, you need to avoid these stuttering states you get put in. No, they still come from me. They don't last that long, but they still come from me. And in these moments where my mindset is, is, okay, I need to process stuff right now. There's emotions inside of me that are stuck somewhere that I'm not allowing to be processed. I need to process my shit. I need to see what's going on. I need to do more in more internal work to see what is true, to see what is triggering me right now. And from what comes up in my, in my journaling, in my meditation, I will take action on. And here's why it's such a good thing to have a stutter in this moment, because every, everybody has this shit. Everybody has moments where they feel more, more lethargic, they feel more in their head, they don't really feel like they have the access to their personality like you do when you're in a stuttering state. Every human has those moments, but not every human has such a fucking... What's that word? Such an obvious symptom that arises such as a stuttering state you get put in. Some people just fall into a 
fall into a depression. And they stay there because the symptoms aren't that obvious. It's not like, ah, I need a change right now. It's just like, no, my, my life kind of sucks right now. But when you have a stutter, it's like, I can't even talk right now. And it forces you to take action and improve your life. All right. So with this mindset, stop trying to put energy in avoiding stuttering more. If you hit those moments, congrats, they're fucking inevitable. Do the internal work, process that shit, what's going on and express yourself again. It may take a day. It may take half a day. It may take 30 minutes. There's times I got put in a stuttering state for like 30 minutes. Um, and then it's, and then I'm out. Sometimes it's a day. Sometimes it's a week. Sometimes it's a couple weeks. But that is fine. All right. As long as you don't give up on yourself. As long as you don't fall victim to distractions, scrolling, YouTube, porn, all of that stuff. As long as you stay on your mission, you know what you should be doing. You're going to fucking get out of it. And when you get out of it, you're going to be stronger than you were before. So that's a good fucking thing. All right. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.